Hi, it's JB Live on Hot 93.3. It's good to be here. It's a beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning and it's almost it's almost afternoon. So, you know, I usher in your afternoon. <laughs> How's the day going? I hope you're all having a wonderful time wherever you are, at work, at home, you know, doing what you need to do. So, what's up? <laughs> Yesterday, um, we talked about um marriage and um if there's anything you'd like to change about the nigerian marriage what would it be and we had so i had so many comments i i was still having comments the comments were still coming in even after the show had ended and they were like no you promised you'd be able to read all the comments and so what we're going to do is this for today um i got a message from someone who said joy i really want you to tackle cheating in marriage and because it's something that gives her a headache she doesn't understand why every relationship she's been in um she has been involved in always ends up with the man cheating and and all of that and i said you know i'm exactly not the very i'm not the best person to take on those things because i really don't see those things as any as well let me put it it's just not a priority for me it's not something that i kill myself over like a lot of people do you know i don't it doesn't bother me it doesn't give me a headache so I'm not really the best person to deal with situations like that. But that's why it's a show, right? That's why it's a show. I, I have all of these listeners who would be able to talk about it and give you advice. And then anyone I feel, <laughs> if I'm feeling any comments, I would be able to, you know, say something regarding it. I think we all have our priorities in life. Some people, that cheating thing is a thing that would just, no, 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 no. Um, you know, I, I know it's a big deal, but it's just I haven't been able to put that much energy into it like a lot of women do i just haven't been able to gather all that energy for it because maybe because i can i'm easily i'm easily distracted with work or just finding happiness finding my life finding other things that make me happy so it's just not my problem you know um and i'm definitely not going to go fight any other any woman because it's just never going to happen if my children try that kind of stuff go fight a woman because of a man I'll put a throw to my knife. Like I would have literally felt as a, as a parent, you know, if, if, if I have children who grow up and, you know, daughters who grow up and then their ultimate desire is looking out for that woman who wants to take a husband, I would really feel like I'd failed them because I, could, I can do so much better than bringing up women who would go fight another woman because of a basic man. You know, basic or not basic, just man, another human being. Nah. So I'm not just very deep into that conversation. Most of the time when they talk about cheating, I am always laughing. I I always find it hilarious. Even when the women are crying and going on and on. I just can't find the emotion for it. I can't find the empathy for it. I just can't. So I'm going to leave it to the audience as usual, the listeners, to do justice to it. So I don't come out sounding very pretentious. Yeah. Okay. So the topic I decided to bring out of that is why do you think we cheat in nigeria i'm trying to make it specific to our society because i feel there are there are unique factors that um that um that 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 allow these things to happen in nigeria there are unique factors that influence the 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 our habits so and cheating is a universal habit <laughs> it's just so funny how we've not been able to come to terms with it it's a universal habit it's been happening since since the days of the bible all right so so it's a universal habit but i do feel that there are some maybe some unique um situations for every society you know so let's talk about those um situations in okay i'm having so many calls <laughs> i'm having so many messages already let's um let's talk about the situation in nigeria that permits you know people to cheat and i would read your comments and i hope the lady who sent me that private message would find something in there to help her deal with the situation better but i have a personal advice for you i just think you should find yourself it i, I think you should just enjoy you should women should try to enjoy life away from whatever happiness they feel a man would give them whatever happiness anybody else would give you is the is dessert it's dessert you take care of your appetizer you take care of your main course and then if dessert comes on you know how it is when you go to fine dining right the main thing is actually the appetizer and the the main the main the main dish right sometimes we always leave dessert we don't necessarily bother with the dessert right because we'll be full and all of that so i will advise that your appetizer is your is in your hands your main course is in your hands and you might just be so full that 
somebody else's happiness, you know, will not even mean anything to you because you've been able to find happiness for yourself. I, am I even making sense? All right. So we, <laughs> I'll be taking your comments and I, I would just say, find your happiness, find your dessert, find your dessert, find your main course. And I mean, find your appetizer, find your appetizer, find your main course. And if dessert doesn't come, you are already full though. On um, Instagram at hot FM underscore Lagos and Twitter hot FM underscore Lagos. I am on Instagram as Joy Bewaji, and you can also follow me on Facebook Joy EC Bewaji. Send all your messages to WhatsApp zero eight one eight zero zero eight nine nine three three. We are talking about cheating in relationships, marriage, and you know relationships, all kinds of relationships, sexual relationships. Why do people cheat? In Nigeria, trying to be, are there specific or unique situations and factors in Nigeria that prompts and influences cheating? Let me know. I have this really long one on WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm just going to read it. It says, women cheat in marriages because when they stay with these men for long, the men already develop the mindset that whatever I do or how, how, how I've, how, however I treat her, she know they go anywhere. Imagine a man after abusing the wife verbally, leaving the woman really hurt, and the next one are he's demanding sex without pacifying her as if she's a street dog. This happens to 93% of married Nigerian women. Hmm. These women, in order to satisfy their own natural inbuilt desire for love and affection, go out to get it. No apologies. Hmm. Also, some men, after leaving life, they will go and marry a girl with never open eye. Who will obey, respect, and submit to them? Okay, these girls have not explored their sexuality at all. At, as time goes on, the girl matures and the body, mind, and soul and sexuality mature and she finds out that this is not where she belongs. If she leaves the marriage, the society descends heavily on her. So they stay in the marriage and explore themselves elsewhere because nature is a bastard. Wow. Am I supposed to say that word? <laughs> it must... It must rear its head. I can go on and on. I can write a book on this, but my grammar is not enough for that. Some do, some do only missionary style position with their husbands because they are afraid to express themselves. If they try other styles, the man will term them wayward. So they better explore with an outsider to play safe. Wow. So men don't look great. Shave or use body, um, body uh, spray. They don't wear nice boxers or deodorant perfume at all they reserve it only for when they want to see their girlfriends outside who know like better thing the woman too will find her way enjoy your life is the goal life no gets better yeah. cheating is less on women who marry when they are mature not that when your mates are still doing boyfriend girlfriend you are already stuck with a man in marriage our type of marriage nature abhors vacuum um, you will still go back to that stage you missed in life. Thanks, Hot FM, for the opportunity to air my view. God bless. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I read all of that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure some people can connect to what she's saying. And, um, yeah, what she's saying. I'm sure a lot of people can connect to, to what she's saying. So thank you for being so truthful, so sincere. Although you didn't drop your name. <laughs> um, okay. You know, the truth is, if you, I mean, if you're going, I'm going to sound really lame because, you know, it's just not my thing, this whole discussion. But, but the truth is, if you really want to have, I, I find it really hard to understand how people just stay together forever. But obviously, that is the societal rule, right? You get married and stay together forever. And that, that, is, a, that is a tough call because if you're going to have to do that, that means you have to reinvent yourself over and over again in your relationship, in your marriage, you have to continue to reinvent yourself. You have to look for adventurous things to do. You have to find, every day has to be a new day to confront the relationship, you know, because you're not going to spend the rest of your life just being who you are in the relationship. That's just not life. That's boring. So, and I don't think we have that much adventure, adventurous spirits in us. And even if we do, our society doesn't necessarily allow us to express ourselves the way white people do you know they, we don't we don't exactly express ourselves that way there are no there are no parks in nigeria you can't just take in a, a mat and hot and hot dogs and say you want to go stay you know you have you want to go have a picnic you, you don't have anywhere to chill unless you are inside a movie theater and 
and you know it's just or you are going to a restaurant there's just not too many activities to ensure that you continue to reinvent yourself you continue to become a new person in your relationship there are not too many facilities and activities available in a country like a third world country like nigeria to make it exciting and that's why because people get bored and then they go look for other ways to explore what they want it doesn't mean it's right but the truth is you know what you have to confront these things it's the way and i'm going totally off the line now but you gotta pardon me to do this i was watching cnn and they were talking about the whole catholic um, situation sexual molestation and you know people don't want to talk about that but children people grow up and kill themselves i re i watched a, a, a girl her mother was telling the story of how she was molested as a child in catholic school and then she grew up and she became um, paranoid she became bipolar and she finally killed herself you ha we have to be, if we don't confront these things the things are there whether you confront them or not eh it doesn't change the truth so what you do as a society is actually confront them no matter how uncomfortable it is confront the thing and find the solution and that's the same way i feel about this entire marriage situation where every other day we are talking about the same thing every day cheating every day though how am i going to be part of that kind of conversation are we not going to move on are we not going to evolve so we need to talk about it and understand why it happens and maybe accept it for what it is or don't whatever it is but just have the conversation okay so i i need to hear, read more comments um zero eight one eight zero zero eight nine nine three three let me know what you think about why people cheat in nigeria the un are there unique factors in this country that allows cheating to happen in relationships okay i have run my life next let's talk more hit um see that it says um boredom the inability to keep things interesting is what makes people cheat she also adds um people are bored in their marriages jerry <laughs> nigeria will not let everyone be great so it's actually hard to be romantic or adventurous when you're thinking about where your house rent will come from <laughs> plus the law of sea finish <laughs> thank you lola day for that comment ayo says okay ayo says i think there are two different primary primary reasons uh, number one sexual and economic number one sexual and number two economic compatibility sexual compatibility is very important both parties must find great joy in mating and spending quality time together this has to be sustained through what i call relationship re-engineering taking periodic breaks and timeouts to appreciate each other to avoid monotony monotony you know i'm going to say something about that before i continue i remember when i watched sex and the city I think the first one where um the the main um uh, jessica the, the jessica woman uh, when she had to take a break from she had to move out of the house or something she had to go to a place for a, a period of time because she wanted the space and i remember i was watching that with a friend and she was like ah how can she leave her Is it, was this was he was it the boyfriend or the husband at the time or the fiance i think it was the fiance and how can she leave her fiance and go and be staying somewhere else and and all of that and she couldn't understand why a woman would want space to rejuvenate to invigorate you know to get new energy and all of that and i and i told her well you know people it's just like even machines computers everything needs that how much more a human being just because you love someone doesn't mean you want to see them every day if you have the resources of course because it still boils down to resources right if you have the resources to be able to create that me time create that space so that you can just you know breathe you know exhale if you can create that time and you have the resources to exhale i think you should take advantage of it and then you come back into the relationship renewed and ready to roll ready to go okay so ayo continues he talks about economic compatibility it is important that both are economically viable life is sweeter when both parties have um a skin in the game if you don't have economic value you can be easily disrespected once disrespect finds its way in you will have no defense once you don't have a defense without having to explain yourself always you will experience one party looking outside i am not one who believes that a partner just cheats for the sake of it sexual exercises is a sign of a quest for satisfaction i however cannot speak for those who have insatiable appetite for sex all right thank you ayo bukola here says 
Hmm, Joy, this one hard small. If you had said what are the factors that can make people cheat, that might be excusable. People could cheat cause because of infidelity as payback, loneliness in marriage or relationship, financial gains, and sometimes for the thrill of not getting caught. Boredom is another reason, and some cheat just because, well, they can. Every man with him with his kettle. In the end, you know your reason and how your conscience will make you sleep followed by the consequences of your actions and the choices you make i am really going to go with the fact that people cheat because they can that is the bottom of all of this talk we keep talking we always try to look for excuses why people do what they do and eh, you're not giving him this style in bed and eh, your food is not sweet and eh, you're not highly educated and eh, you're not you know they keep coming see you're going to always have excuses in life the truth is people cheat because they can <laughs> that's all that's all and that is why i don't get involved in this conversation i have to do this because my listeners wanted me to do this you see but the truth is people cheat because they can because they can get away with it especially the men in patriarchal society a abroad i think cheating the cheating game is half half 50 50 because the women they can <laughs> they can you know any environment that empowers one gender, you realize that gender will take advantage of it. That is life. That is how people are. That is how people do. That is what people do with opportunities and power. They abuse it sometimes. So listen, don't, I don't understand this idea of, ah, oh, you're too, if you were lighter, you would stay. Ah, uh, if you stay 10 minutes more in sex, he would stay. Ah, uh, if you spice your egusi more, he would stay. Ah, uh, if you have natural hair nothing will change anyone it is society that forms the, these people's decisions people cheat because they can and and in nigeria more, more more than women men cheat because they know that when they do their wives are not going anywhere if any kasala bust it is between the two women i said this some days back like he knows already he knows that when he cheats his wife is going to fight the, the wife is going to fight the side check and he's just gonna be chilling fighting his nails <laughs> until she's done and she comes back to him with scars and that night they're gonna have sex again <laughs> that's why they cheat why do we keep going on and on about um money no money economic power it doesn't matter they are very successful women who also have women who cheat on them I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm just saying because of this environment, you see that men do it more. Because they can, it's not because women can't all. There are consequences for women in Nigeria when they cheat. The consequences are heavy. So they will weigh the consequences vis-a-vis -vis the action or the idea of cheating. And when they weigh these two things, they realize that, hmm, you know, the consequences are too much. I'll just stay at home. <laughs> But the guys, when they do the same thing, when they weigh the consequences and the action of cheating, man, there are no consequences here, though. I'm just going to go out and do this thing because I can. End off. Okay, Bumi is on WhatsApp. <laughs> she says, hello, GIB. I think people cheat because they want to cheat. I just said that. Thank you, darling. It's as simple as that. Although I don't pray to have a cheating partner because I can tell it can mean that one is not whole enough even though one is given so much and that can be so hurtful. But when you do have a cheating partner, don't kill yourself. You can't kill yourself. You shouldn't kill yourself because it takes only that person to realize if it's wrong or right. I still don't understand why people cheat. Sometimes I think it is the sexual compatibility that brings about cheating. Yes, I am always in deep shock when I see a man who has a beautiful wife and kids and everything, yet cheats. It tells you that there are actually some things you as a mere man have no control over. So what you do, you do. Keep living right. Bumi, thank you, Bumi, for that comment. I always love your comment. Now, there's another thing we have to also consider. Marriage is not only a religious, because we always look at it from a religious angle. There are open marriages. It might not be popular in Nigeria, but there are open marriages. And open marriages mean that other people are allowed into your marriage. 
you know it, whether you agree this thing i really don't like people who don't allow new other things to you have to allow other things beyond your own belief to come into it and have intelligent conversations about it you don't have to agree with it right but it exists so if they are open marriages it means that these people are allowed to explore other partners in their marriage now it, it is going against your religion that's your business that's why you're not the one in the open marriage you get and if you have a proper open marriage you would be free of this a situation where you are always fighting other women because you would have had that conversation before marriage and you guys would decide okay do we want an open marriage or do we want an exclusive marriage where you know you have that honest conversation before you go into it and then if you go into it and then you know but we don't have this conversation with people and then we, things happen i'm not saying that you should go have open marriages that's not the point the point is we have to balance this thing you know some people don't want to be with one person so they are going they're going to open marriages because it favors them it favors the, the people involved better they uh maybe, maybe they do they have they, they like a lot of things about themselves but they still want more because that's just what human beings are we always want more and instead of going behind the back and then cheating and all of that they make it an open marriage for other people they can be involved with other people without you know putting themselves in situations where they hurt each other it doesn't mean they will not eventually hurt at some point but at least that conversation has started and there's, there's a definition to the marriage and all of that so we could also you know talk about that but yes let's just carry on with the conversation um let me know what why you why you think people cheat in nigeria specifically in nigeria maybe there are factors in this country that allows for cheating i want your whatsapp messages sent to 0818-008-9933 all right uh we're still talking about you know what are the factors that make people cheat in nigeria are there specific factors that we should consider and that influences the decision for someone for a partner to cheat i have samuel here itodo he says i think there's the curiosity element to cheating you know wondering what could this other person who is not my spouse or girlfriend boyfriend be like in bed and then when you find out and you like what you get, you might be drawn in for more. And for men, many still see having sex with women as some conquest. <laughs> that comes with some form of power. So the more women you can get, the more power you are, you have. To these men, it doesn't matter how good what they have in their relationship already is. And, dry, and driven by the conquest mentality. What is out there doesn't even have to be as good as what is at home. Thank you, Samuel. That conquest is so old school, though, but let, thank you. <laughs> um, Didi says, I would first like to declare that humans are inherently polygamous in nature and not cheating is a conscious and concerted effort. Some put in the work of suppressing more than others. Some just can't be bothered. And while some manage not to, too many times they find themselves in circumstances where they cannot help themselves. This last category is the category I kindly, I, I kind of empathize with. They cheat largely because they are unsatisfied with one or more aspects of their expectations from their partner. These ones are, these ones expectations are not unreasonable. It could be lack of attention or affection or even sex after several forms of communication. The lack is essential for them but not necessarily for them to stay together. And these ones usually try as best as they can not to let the other party know of their philandering. These ones are always, these ones always end up chewing more than what they can swallow. But I still have empathy for them. Thank you, Didi. Thank you. I have Bola here on WhatsApp. She says, Nigerian men especially cheat because they can, they can, and most importantly, they will get away with it. Women have to understand that when a man cheats, the effort it takes to ask the side chick out, the effort they put into spending money and quality time on her means on her means that their decision to cheat is a conscious one and only them should be held accountable because they promised the wife fidelity and commitment. If they are not accountable, they will do it again. Thank you, Bola. I said that before. In this in this climb, men cheat because they can. In first world countries, everyone cheats because they can you know because they can't we do things because the society allows us to get away with it 
women is very you know i mean women do cheat of course that's valid i mean they do we know right but it's very hard for them to be caught because when they do they know the consequences are heavy probably even heavier than whatever satisfaction they think they're getting doing what what whatever it is they're doing and that is why that was you know their situation is always covered but for the men they do it because they can't that's just how i see it i have to take one more, one more comment before i take some i take some music i have here uh t mix okay t mix says um i don't think anyone decides to cheat outrightly especially one who decides to go into a relationship than marriage however we shouldn't forget that every human was designed with an explorer's mindset the degree varies from one person to another the average man the average man also view things around around them like games and for games you want to win you want to score goals and when that environment deprives them of such of overcoming mentality they want to move more so the average man is moved by what he sees and hears while women also by what they hear and a bit of touch so when the tone of the sweet voice he hears often changes and becomes more quarreling or quarrelsome with a mix of nagging even if it's for a short time he's already moving and if this tone remains so for long I have comments here. Um, um, Isyama says, Unattended suspicion of infidelity. There have been instances where a partner was suspected of cheating and to even out the other compromises their vow to stay faithful if only the suspicion was broached and attended to. Okay. Kennedy says, Lack of self-control, basically. Civilization used to be man's ability to control his feelings and actions, but now it means trying to satisfy every desire. <laughs> I'll read that again. He says, Civilization used to be man's ability to control his feelings and actions, but now it means trying to satisfy every desire. <laughs> Thank you, Okoro. And I have one here from Shola. Shola says, Okay, this is pretty okay she says okay let me see nigerians are emotionally repressed emotionally unexpressive to meet a guy who shows or willing to show his vulnerable he's vulnerable is really out of the norm so they go into relationships not even knowing what they want why they are in what end the relationship is meant to serve to many relationship is a rite of passage not necessarily something that defines their personhood for some, it is the need for sexual expression and not necessarily the need to share a personal or intimate bond with another. Most guys, women also, are nurtured on patriarchal values and only succumb to a relationship to validate some values. The need to raise a family, bear off offspring after their own kind. So you see, the premise for choosing or being in a relationship is altogether warped. It is also it is also it is always a reason that dwells outside of themselves hmm not for themselves that's really deep you know interesting so even in that relationship marriage there is nothing that is tied to their own sense of definition of self and that leaves off a huge vacuum no true validation no fulfillment no true joy oh wow you know shala says this is really deep and i'm just going to talk a bit about it where you know we go into relationships not because we really really want it but because you know the society has already laid down its its timetable for us you know so you were born you go to school you finish school you get married you get a job you know everything is that way and if you don't follow that particular style people begin to badger you family begin to ask you questions friends begin to wonder if you're okay are you okay how come you're not married by this time so you don't necessarily do these things for yourself you do it because your mother wants you to get married your friends are all married and you have to fit in you know i remember when they were badgering tools to get married to captain it, it was so annoying like they were dating and they used to you know because they're all in you know they were going for weddings every saturday and you see them together and people like hey you when are you getting married when are you getting married <laughs> she's like what, what's your business you know so that's the thing i really believe in this is what this is really what i believe in the depth of my heart that if we do have a real choice without the without society norms and cultural you know rules a lot of people would not be married they would rather not but you know nobody wants to be um that 
they don't want to stand out they don't want to be different they don't want to be that person that people look at and like what's up with him how come he's not you know how come he's not following the norm right they don't want to be that person if we had a free society when there is no judgment from anywhere nobody questions you about anything you'll be shocked that a lot of people would rather not even when we have kids we have kids because we're so, okay you're married right what next okay let's start burning that's the idea it's not because people really want to have kids you know people don't necessarily want to have but they want to believe they are fertile and then you know all of this in some in some societies in nigeria you have all of this tribal where men have to you know i have three boys i have six boys i have 10 girls you know things like that and in some ways it's supposed to mean something and that's why people get roped into all of this and then they find that they're not satisfied with this life and they go out and look for other things that will kind of fill them up you know one way or the other okay i have run town next i have this comment here from Foluke. she says um, when they stumble on a situation or person that represents what is lacking in their relationship or marriage that becomes a perfect trigger recipe for cheating and for some, it's a, mere, it's a mere reflection of power. The power they have over another to trigger sex or lustful feelings, irrespective of whether they are married or not. And when such lustful feelings are triggered or nurtured, what's next to happen? Cheating, of course. And some have no reason at all. Just the thrill of having an extra affair is enough motivation to indulge. And, so, and for some, it is transactional. Money for hand, back for ground things, a means to an end. Okay, thank you all for your comments. So I'm just going to round up with this. Like I said before, I'm just going to reiterate. People cheat because they can. In Nigeria, it seems men are in the forefront of the game because the consequences for men are very, very, they're none sometimes, just none, none at all. So he cheats because he knows that probably the wife will go fight the side chick anyways. They all will, they all will scatter their body, tear their clothes, blood everywhere scars everywhere and he will still go back and the mad woman will still come back to his house and the marriage will continue and in many cases he will also still continue with the side chick so how is he not going to cheat <laughs> you see so that's the thing is consequences i mean this is psychology now this is really easy stuff to understand why people do what they do if there are no consequences then you know that's it people will just do what they do that's how it is did you read animal farm all right <laughs> I have to leave now. Um, the news is next. I will be here tomorrow. It's going to be Friday and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day.